I have two remarks. The first one from our, our politician. My provisional president was at the meeting of African Union recently. I said provisional because we don't know yet whether he will win the case. Uh, and he made a big point that African leaders should make sure they crush all military coups. Very good. It was surprising. There is no mention about what to do about countries where they rig elections. In a country where you don't allow proper free and fair elections to hold, you prepare the ground for military coups. I have always said that military elections are worse than military coup because the boys who stage a coup do not add insult to injury telling us that we were the ones who put them there. They tell us that if we put ourselves here, you must obey us. But in a, in a rigged election, a gang of people put themselves in power and tell the whole world that we put them in power when we have not. And so I think this is an important point. I don't know who for whom that is meant. The other point is, Madame, Madame Pascaline, this whole idea of neighboring African countries, not Afghanistan, not Russia or Ukraine, invading your country and making away with your resources. Where is Africa Union? Is it, how is this possible? And why is, why is Africa Union unable to do anything about it? I must say, it, it, for me, it's very, very sad. Very sad. And some of the countries that I imagine you are pointing at are countries that are very, very respectable countries. They have nice, they have very good uh, reports out, out, outside of Africa. As opposed to be doing well. They are even presented very often as the models that we should be following. I'm not going to mention their names. 